Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Sasha Reed. Thank you for joining me for the first time. If you're back with me again, then hello. <laughs> um, tonight is my sort of Friday night kind of shopping haul, what I've been up to, what I've been getting, what you'll see coming up in videos. Um, I've tried to do some samples where I could with products that I've got, but I wanted to share with you what I've got, um, my initial reviews on some of the stuff as well. So, my desk is covered. Um, this is about a month's worth of shopping and it's mostly come today. <laughs> so Royal Mail are still really, really rubbish. We're only getting mail every couple weeks, maybe three weeks. Um, so two to three weeks I'm getting post. So I had three craft stash orders all from the end of December until now and it all came today. Uh, so I can't wait to share all this with you and give you sort of my thoughts and opinions on some stuff. I'll put all the links down below for you. If you want to find any of this stuff, then I'll pop it all down below. If something's been discontinued or out of stock, um, if it's a craft stash or Arteza um, product, then you can sign up to get notified. My eBay items, um, you have to contact the seller yourself and find out. So let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna get started with some more powders. <laughs> um, I've been a bit obsessed over the past couple weeks with these Pretty Get Gritty, um, Pretty Explosion powders. I got these on Craft Stash after I saw the um, owner, or the creator, I should say, um, Lynette, do a demo with them on Craft Stash's video. And I had to have them. So you'll have seen these a lot on my channel if you've been watching. I've done a few different techniques, a few different um, samples with them, and I just needed more. <laughs> so most of them were sold out on Craft Stash's website, and I saw a recommendation for a new product, and I ordered it on pre-release. So at the moment, I fully plan to get a few more of these from Pretty Gets Gritty. These were $5.99, I believe, each. So they weren't cheap, but they will last forever. If you watch my video, you'll see why. But currently they are sold out of all of the colors on Craft Stash for these ones. So that's a bit gutting, but hopefully they'll be getting more back in stock soon. <clears throat> so I saw these ones on pre-release. These are Cosmic Shimmer Pixie Sparkles, and I had to get them. These ones were quite a bit cheaper. These were only £3.99 per bottle. There are 30 mils in here and there are 15 mils in these ones here. But I did a sample of every color I got just to show you what it's like and how it compares. Now, I did the Pretty Gets Gritty ones on here as well. So these are my three Pretty Gets Gritty ones that I love. The things that I found between the two powders that I really like about these ones in particular is there's a lot more pigment, it seems, in these little ones. A lot of pigment. The um, powder doesn't rub off, so you, can, you can't even see anything on my finger and I've just rubbed it. It doesn't come off on your hand. It's got like a binding agent already in it, which is really good when you're working with these kind of powders. So those are the two huge pluses, is way more pigment, and it's got some kind of binding powder in it. It's also got the metallic shine. So every one of the Pretty Gets Gritty ones either has a silver or a gold or a, um, I think like an iridescent white in it. So they've kind of got like a metallic color to them. This one here, I thought I would try. This was three pound 70 or 40. I'm sorry if this is not your kind of video where you don't want to hear about my reviews and what I've been picking up um, But a lot of people really enjoy seeing a comparative video. So I picked up this one to see what it was like. It's called a shimmer shaker I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with it I need to google it and have a look but this is what it looks like when you sprinkle it down It kind of just went a bit of a hot mess <laughs> um, It's quite neon orange in places and it just kind of ran and it didn't give any kind of beautiful pattern or kind of texture to it. It just ended up a bit of a blob. So I've done them both on black and on white. So you can see. So I don't know what you're meant to do with these shimmer shakers. But you definitely can't do the same sort of fun backgrounds with these as you can with these ones. Okay, so that is my ones that I've already had that you've seen lots used. Then these are the ones, and I tried to line up the ones that look the most similar to the ones I've already got. 
Um, so this is very similar, but it's got like a silver in it. And this one has got like a purple mica powder instead of a gold. And these two are very similar as well. Now the downside, the biggest downside to these ones is it rubs right off. <laughs> so I have had a mess all over my desk, all over everywhere. Um, my black leggings are covered in mica powder. They've been a bit of a disaster. So if you watch, so there's my, my finger. It's just covered. And again on here, you can see all that mica powder just comes off. So you do need to set these ones. They don't seem to stick very well at all. So that's probably my biggest downside. In terms of price point, they are much cheaper than these ones. But I like, I still really like the look of these ones more. Although I will use these up and I will have fun with them and I will experiment and do projects with them. But just as a word of warning, they rub off. The mica powder rubs off and it makes a really lovely mess um, everywhere. So when you're working with the card, if you want to die cut it or do something with it, that mica powder is going to rub off onto your cutting plates. It's going to rub off onto your surfaces. So when I was sticking all these down, I had them overturned on my desk so I could put adhesive on the back and then put them on. And it just left a mess everywhere on my desk. So as a word of warning, it rubs off. But you can beat that by using a bit of hairspray. So I just bought these little, they're called Clubber's hairsprays. They were like a pound for a pack of four. And I just have one of these on my desk. And all I'm going to do is just set them with a little bit of hairspray. It just kind of puts that see-through coating on the top. Oh, <coughs> In my little office, it's a little bit strong. Do it in a well-ventilated room. Woo! Um, <coughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm gassing myself out. Oh, gosh. So, you want to set it with hairspray, and then that will allow it to not rub off. I would do it now, but it's a bit wet because I've just sprayed it with hairspray. Um, so, you can set it with hairspray, and that's how you can avoid um, any of it coming off once you've done your um, project with it. Um, the other downside that I found was they didn't have as much pigment on some of them. I did have to sprinkle quite a lot on the paper to get the pigment to come out. So you can see there's a ton of mica powder showing through. And that's because I used quite a lot of the powder to get the pigment color. Whereas these are quite heavy in the pigment color. And I don't know, there's something magical about a powder that's gold that all of a sudden becomes purple and blue. <laughs> is so cool. Um, so I do really like these and I will use them up and they were a better price point than the other ones. However, you do need to set them and you do need to um, put a bit more on than you normally would. Okay, so I have got Teal Marine, Groovy Grape, Coral Crush and Zesty Lime and this one's so cool. Then I also have Fuchsia Rose. Purple Affair, the Purple Affair is really cool, and Beyond Blue is stunning. And this pale blush is the only one that I would say is not really worth your money. It is a very pale pink, but it's so pale you almost can't even see it, and by the time I've sprinkled so much to get some of that pink through, the mica powder has just gone a bit crazy. So, those are my reviews and my new fun toys that I'll be playing with in videos coming up. Um, these ones I am pretty sure I got from eBay. I will find the link and put them down below for you. Um, I love square cards and so I just go and find envelopes and I found a bunch of these ones on eBay. These are five and one eighth of an inch squared so they will fit a five inch card really nicely on the inside with a little bit of wiggle room. So I got some black, I got some white, then they had pastel colors and then they also had some brights colors. So I really love having a big selection of envelopes. I got a couple boxes under here, under my desk, um, that are just devoted to envelopes. I have one for square envelopes, uh, one for obnoxiously large envelopes, and then my regular envelopes I keep in a drawer to the right of my desk. So I've got these from eBay and I've got another order of envelopes coming from uh, a shop called Ideal Envelopes and they do pretty much every kind of size out there. So I will link those envelopes when I get them in. So I got a whole bunch of square ones. 
Next, I wanted to share my Arteza goodies with you. I am so excited about these new ones. Um, I spotted some new releases on their website and I'm really excited. So the first thing I want to talk about is the gouache colors. Now, you've seen me use gouaches so many times in videos. I really love them. I don't know exactly what they are, but my interpretation is that they're like another form of watercolor. So what I take do with them is I take them and I squirt them. I put them into empty pans and all you do is you let them sit and dry. So this is my current one that is full um, and I've just filled it with my gouaches and I just leave it to dry and they all dry out and then you can use them like a watercolor. So, I love these. I noticed on Arteza's website that they have a new set of gouache colors. Now, most of you know I have a love for all things shimmery and glittery and shiny, and Arteza currently have 12 metallic gouache colors. And these are the ones that I've been using in my stash for ages, and I love them, and they have lasted me so ridiculously long. So as you can see, these are my original 12 gouache colors, my metallic ones. Now I've filled these once, and you can get about three fills from one tube of gouache, um, gouache color. <clears throat> so if I show you, you get these little tubes, and you get about three of these pans, probably at least three from one tube. And this is almost two years use of worth of, this is almost two years of use right here and there's still so much color in them. So it is really awesome because you could just buy the set and split it with three friends and each of you get some kind of pan set, fill them up, you're good to go. So it's something that can work out really economically efficient um, to split between you and some friends. So that was a little side note um, because a lot of people look at some of the prices and think it's quite pricey but I do like Arteza's pigment in them. They're very very pigmented and they look really really nice. So I think it's always worth if you can make it cheaper then make it cheaper. So if you can go in on it with a friend do that. So those are my original 12. Then I spotted on Arteza that they have 36 metallic colors. These are all metallic colors. So I automatically assumed the 12 original would be in here, but they are not. So there are three, possibly four, that are the same from this set of 12 and the rest are all completely new colors. So it is so exciting to have all these metallic watercolor paints. 36 colors in here, plus if you had this one already, that's an additional roughly eight more colors. So you're getting over 40 colors of new metallic watercolors. So I'm so excited by that. That is what I've got in this one here. I've gone ahead and plunked them all in. Look at that blue, it's gorgeous. This is like my mom's nail polish when I was a kid. Such stunning colors. So I'm really excited to play with these. I will do a swatch test as well and put them all onto a swatch for you. There's about two colors missing because these ones here are all the new metallic ones. And there's about two colors missing because I've ran out of space. So I have bought <laughs> another one of these. Top tip and trick. If you're going to purchase from Arteza, have a Google search for any discount codes for Arteza. So I got 20% off of this um, tin. Um, it's just an empty tin. I got 20% off of it because I found a code that gave me 20% off. So it's always worth having a look and seeing if there are any voucher codes out there because you could get it for a bit cheaper. Um, so I paid about £13 for this empty watercolour tray. Um, I really like them. They're really nice. They fit on my shelf beautifully and I just wanted a tray that was the same. If I didn't already have three <laughs> that identical to this tray, I would have probably bought something possibly a little bit cheaper. You can also get individual pans. So I'll link this down below. I picked this up off of Amazon because I'd used a few to make my own unique colors. I mixed a few so I didn't have enough in my actual tray anymore because they're filled with random weirdo colors that I was trying to play around with. So I picked this up for about three pounds I think on Amazon for a pack of 50 empty ones. So you could always 
get some of the gouaches, fill them, um, and if you've got a place where you could just stick them without a tray, then by all means you could just have like the empty, empty ones of these. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry, that was a long blab about that. Okay, so I got my new metallic ones and I love them. Then, <laughs> because I couldn't resist, there's also metallic half pan watercolors already in the pan. So this is also new in their shop. You get this beautiful box. You get a watercolor brush, which is their standard brush. I really like these a lot. You can fill these with your own homemade Winka Stella as well. They will go through the tube. So I've got a watercolor brush that came with it. And check these out. Now I have not done the swatches yet, but they give you a sheet to do the swatches with on black as well as white because obviously the metallic gouaches and the metallic watercolors will show up beautifully on black cardstock. How stunning are these? These are very iridescent and gorgeous. Look at the lime, bright lime color. So another 24 colors of metallic paint. <laughs> I am, I'm having the time of my life, I'm telling you. <laughs> okay, so I have those to swatch out and try out for you and share them with you, but I'm so excited. I'll link these down below again as well. And I do apologize because they only ship to Europe and the States. So that is a very big, I'm sorry if you're in Australia or New Zealand or anywhere else. Um, I do get a lot of people asking me about that and I constantly feed that back to Arteza as well and just say, can you please think about shipping worldwide? So I got those. Last but not least, I got the, of course, glitter gel pens. These are new as well. I've been having a massive play with these gel pens and they are gorgeous. They are really, really smooth to write with. They are super duper glittery, like massively glittery um, and just really lovely. So you see that it's on black, but it is so sparkly. I'll hold it up to the camera um, and you get a nice little selection of colors and they are so lovely to draw with. So this is the pink and purple on black. Can you see the shine? Oh, it's like heaven. So I will be using these to add a little bit of sparkle and glitter to projects. They'll make great accents. Um, and they're just so beautiful. So those are all my new Arteza goodies that you'll probably see coming up. I'll link these down below for you as well. Um, I do have affiliate links with Arteza. It doesn't cost you anything more, uh, but it does give me a very small commission with them. Um, I'm not bothered if you don't use it. If you don't want to use it, that's totally fine. I'm not doing it as a sales pitch. I will only share with you stuff that I really love and I'll give you my reviews of the stuff that I use as well. But they are affiliate links for Arteza down below. Then I had some stuff come in from Craft Stash again. Um, all this stuff here. So I got... First of all, I got some more palette knives. So I just needed some basic palette knives. They have these ones here, which are from Royal and Lang Nickel, I believe. And I paid £1.99 for these. And they're just cheapo palette knives. I just needed a really cheap and cheerful set of them because I've lost all of them apart from this one in the previous set I had. Um, so I just paid £1.99 and got a few more. Then I got this Midas by Spectrum Noir Metallic Pigment Ink. So it's very pretty. And this is the Platinum, so I'll have a play with that and let you know how I get on. I got, of course, another Woodware stab set uh, from Francois Reed. Um, and it's just gorgeous. Then I got these dies. They're called pine cones, but I got them to make flowers with. I have no intention of making pine cones with them. I just wanted the basic flower shapes. So those are the shapes there that I got. You got the three, four big, sh four flowers that you can layer on top of each other. And then these two here, which I think could be nice as leaves. Then I wanted to get this butterfly die set. I thought it was stunning and gives you loads of options. Um, and so you can make your own stamps with these ones as well. So I just thought this is so beautiful. I really wanted to have a play. Um, and have a really nice butterfly set. 
Then I don't know if you've been watching on Craft Stash, but Lou Collins, who does a lot of the face of um, Craft Stash, has come out with her own collection. And I think each month she's been releasing new products. And I couldn't not have these ones. So I wanted to get them. There's um, In the set there is an embossing folder, I believe, and some stencils coming out. Um, this is a set of three stamps. You get this large butterfly in the middle and then these two side panels. So you could do like a card that would look like that. You could do like a massive um, bifold card. Is that what you call it? <laughs> um, but I love that. And then this set that coordinates with it, it says three pieces, but it does come with four. You get the big butterfly that actually die cuts out the butterfly on the stamped image which is lovely. I love when you can have a die like that that cuts it out for you. And then you also get these other three that you can layer up. So you get the sort of two solid images and then your decorative image. So I'm really excited for some more butterflies again. Um, then I have some sticky tape. Now I have been trialing this off camera. I've been using it for a couple months and I've really come to love it. It is just tear tape. It's really super super sticky tear tape. I've already used up a whole roll, but it did take me a long time and I used it a lot. But it is massively sticky. It is super easy to tear and I really love it. It's in the Craft Stash Basics range. So I've gone ahead and bought two more of the thicker one and two of the thinner one. Um, these ones were a pound 50 each for these rolls. And you do get quite a lot on each roll. I said, like I said, um, I use these on a ton of cards. Um, so I'm really excited to have two more rolls because they're just nice and tidy and they're really super easy to tear and use. So this one here is half a centimeter and a centimeter in terms of width. Um, or you could, um, when you measure it, it could be quarter of an inch and an inch basically. Um, so really good sizes, really good widths. Sorry, not a quarter of an inch and a one inch. Quarter of an inch and half an inch, sorry. So really good widths to work with. Um, and I'm really impressed with the quality for the really cheap price of 99 pence or pound fifty. So really good. Really enjoy this. Then I picked up this tag punch, uh, which is a uh, hunky dory, I believe. And um, it punches out like that. That's the biggest one there. Then you get the medium one. And all you do is you cut your strips. It says one and a half inch, two inches, two and a half inches. And you cut your strips to that width. And then you take your strip and you just line it up with the hole that it fits into. When you've slotted it in, you just push it down and then you get your little tag. So because you're going down in size, you get all different sized tops of your tags. So that's quite sweet and you could layer them up obviously as well and they'll all line up really nicely. And you could have a really cute layered tag where you've got like a bit of vellum maybe um, on the top and then decorative paper and a solid um, cardstock would look really nice and obviously you can cut your tags as long or as short as you like so I got that tag punch as well then the last thing I want to share with you is a little bit of a brag <laughs> I'm really excited so this is the new craft world magazine craft world is an online um website that you can go to is kind of like a Facebook for crafters. So you can join groups, you can have friends, you can follow people um, or follow the celebrities, um, which we, they've got a whole expert section, which I happen to be on, which is really exciting as well. Um, but I was asked to do some projects for this magazine. So I was sent the kit and asked to design some projects with it. So you get a stamp set in there, you get an embossing folder, uh, another stamp set and then two dies. I believe this is still on sale. Um, I don't know if they ship it worldwide or not. Um, you'd have to go and look. I'll try and link it down below if I can find a link for it. Uh, but it's me! <laughs> so exciting um so this is my little section in the magazine how cool is that so these are all the projects that i designed for the magazine i had loads of fun with it um and you can see there's a little bonus one that's on craft world as well that you can go and see the tutorial not tutorial for it, but you can go and see it uh, with the brief description of how you can make that card using this kit so this is my little claim to flame flame <laughs> claim to fame this is my first time i've been published in an actual physical paper so i wanted to share that with you because i'm so excited and 
so proud of myself. Um, so that's me in this Craft World magazine that you can order. Um, and if I can find the link, I'll put it down below for you. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm sorry it was a long one, but it's Friday night and we're having fun, aren't we? Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.